Have you received one of these from Google to tell you your business profile has been suspended for a policy violation and you're not quite sure what you need to do? And if you're like most business owners, you're probably left scratching your head wondering what you did wrong. On top of that, there's the stress of knowing your listing isn't showing up on Google anymore, meaning you're missing out on a ton of clients. By the way, it doesn't matter how old your listing is, how many reviews you've got, or even if you're spending loads of money on Google Ads. None of that makes a difference because most of the time, these suspensions are triggered automatically. Now you can appeal the suspension straight from the email, but that's usually a bad move. Why? Because there's clearly an issue with your listing. That's why it got suspended. And if you appeal before fixing that, then your listing is unlikely to get reinstated. The tricky part is that Google won't tell you exactly what policy you've violated. They keep it vague, so it's up to you or whoever manages your profile to figure out what's wrong and make sure everything complies with Google's rules. You can try reading through Google's guidelines and restricted content to figure it out, but let's be honest, it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. That's why in today's video, I'm walking you through a full list of reasons your listing might have been suspended. No more guessing, you'll know exactly what to check and fix before you appeal. Just make sure you go through the entire list and fix everything along the way to give your listing the best chance of getting reinstated. Ready, let's jump in. If you've added extra keywords to your business name that don't match your real world name, it's time to fix it. Google's guidelines don't allow this. For example, this diamond jewelry shop called Soho Gem is using Soho Gem Sapphire and Diamond Engagement Rings NYC on their profile. That's against Google's rules. The name should simply be Soho Gem. While adding keywords to your business name isn't probably the main reason your profile was suspended, it's still important to fix it before appealing. Google will manually review your listing and if your business name doesn't match your real world name, they won't reinstate your profile. Double check and make sure it's accurate. If your business is using a rented mailing address like a UPS box or a virtual office like Regus, but you're not actually working there, you can't use that address for your business profile. To get your listing reinstated, make sure you're using a real business address that matches what's on your business license. Showing your business is open 24 seven when it's not, is not a good idea. If that's the case, update your profile with the correct opening hours to avoid issues. If you've moved, your business to a different location and you updated the address on your listing to reflect that move, it might have triggered a suspension, even if the move is legitimate. Just make sure you've got the right documents with your new address ready when you ask to get reinstated. If you're changing important details on your listing too often, like your business name, phone number, website, or primary category, it can get suspended. In real life, you wouldn't change things like your name or phone number all the time, right? Google thinks frequent changes look suspicious and will often suspend your listing automatically for that reason. If that happens, you'll have to go through the reinstatement process. Next time you need to make updates, spread them out over a few hours to avoid raising any red flags. Some business categories face extra scrutiny from Google because they tend to have a lot of spammy activity. If you're a plumber, locksmith, pest control service, real estate agent, or personal injury lawyer, for example, your listing is more likely to get suspended even if your business is completely legitimate. If this happens, make sure to appeal, but first go through everything on this list to check for other potential issues. If your listing is a storefront and you switch to a service area business, you'll need to remove your physical address and set the areas you serve instead. Unfortunately, this change can sometimes trigger a suspension. To get your listing reinstated, you'll need to go through the reinstatement process and make sure you have all the necessary paperwork ready. If you're a service area business like a plumber or locksmith, with multiple Google listings, make sure your service areas don't overlap. That breaks Google's rules. Fix it before you send in your appeal to get your listing reinstated. 
To be eligible for a Google Business Profile, your business must involve in-person contact with customers. If your business is entirely online, you don't qualify. If your listing gets suspended because of this, don't bother requesting reinstatement. Google won't approve it. If your business has more than one Google Business Profile, it's probably because they were flagged as duplicates. This can happen if you or someone else accidentally created a second profile. If you moved to a new location or changed your business name and made a new profile instead of updating the old one, or even if there were issues during the verification process. To fix this, log into your Google Business Dashboard. Look for the profile marked as duplicate, select the duplicate profile and hit remove to delete it from your account. When you appeal, just be upfront with Google and explain it was an honest mistake. Being honest can really help get things sorted. If Google finds out your website's been hacked or has malware, your listing could be at risk. Google wants to make sure people only visit safe and trustworthy sites. Here are a few signs your site might be hacked or has malware. Google shows warning like this. Your site suddenly slows down a lot. Random ads or pop-ups start showing up for no reason. To stay on the safe side, use a free malware scanner online to check your site and make sure it's clean before appealing to get your listing reinstated. Also, make sure to keep your site updated, use strong passwords and get good security tools to avoid this kind of issue in the future. If you're a small business owner and short on time, you might have let someone manage your Google business profile for you. While that can save time, it can also cause problems if they break Google's rules, not just on your profile, but on other listings they manage too. If an account manager is involved in suspicious activity like spamming, the Google account could be flagged. Since their account is connected to your profile, this might lead to your listing being suspended as well. Check who has access to your profile. If you see anyone you don't recognize, remove them right away before appealing. Make sure to regularly check who has access and what changes are being made to keep your profile safe. If you've got multiple listings and are using the same phone number for all of them, don't do it. It's against Google's rules and could get your listings suspended. Each profile needs its own phone number to show Google and your customers that they're different businesses. If you want all your calls to go to one place, here is a simple fix. Set up unique phone numbers for each listing and forward to your main number. This keeps you within the guidelines and still makes call handling easy. Google doesn't allow multiple listings with the same name to be verified at the same address, especially for service area businesses. Each location needs its own unique address, staff, phone number, and other details to meet Google's verification requirements. If your service business operates from different locations, each with its own staff and service area, you can create a separate profile for each one. Paying for or offering incentives for Google reviews is a bad idea. It misleads customers, damages trusts, and counts as deceptive content, which can get your listing suspended. Fake reviews don't always happen because of incentives, though. If you see fake reviews on your profile, use Google's review removal tool to report them. The key is to focus on getting genuine reviews from real customers and show you care by responding to all feedback, whether it's good or bad. If you're using other Google products like AdWords or local service ads and break their terms and conditions, it could lead to your Google Business Profile being suspended too, so just play by the rules. Now that you've gone through the lists, you've hopefully figured out why your listing was suspended and fixed the issues. If you're ready to find your appeal, hold on a second before you hit that appeal button. I recommend watching this second video to understand how the appeal process works. It's important to be fully prepared because Google will ask for official paperwork to prove your listing is legitimate and you'll only have 60 minutes to provide it. If you don't want to be scrambling for the right documents and risk missing your chance to get reinstated, make sure to check this video out. Google only gives you one shot at this. 
Good luck, everyone.